A cone-shaped paper water cup has a height of 12 centimeters and a radius of 6 centimeters. If the cup is filled with water to 5 6 its height, what portion of the volume of the cup is filled with water? So we would like to describe this portion of the cup, the one that's filled with water. How does this volume of water compare to the cup? The cup is a cone, and this is the base. The base is a circle. So notice the larger cone, which is a cup, the smaller cone, which is the one that holds the water, and each of them has a circular base. We'll be needing that information later. Also notice that we have a larger triangle and a smaller triangle. These are going to be labeled with this information. <clears throat> so we labeled it with the information. Here's the large cone information and small cone information. The small cone is the one that has the water. They also tell us that the height of the smaller cone is 5 6 the height of the larger cone. So 5 6 of 12 would be 10. 12 divided by 6 is 2 times 5 is 10. The big plan is to find the volume of the water in the cup, then compare it to the total volume of the cup. So we're going to compare the volume of the smaller cone to the volume of the larger cone. The formula for the cone requires that we know the height and the radii, the, the heights and the radii of each cone. But we're missing this radii. So since these are similar triangles, we could set up a proportion to find that x. So you set up your proportion, 12 compares to 6, the way that 10 compares to x. Do your algebra, and x turns out to be 5 centimeters. Now that we have height and radii information, we can start talking about the formula for the volume of cone. So this would be the large cone information, and this is the small cone information. Now you bring in the volume formula for a cone. So notice they're the same since they're both cones. This is just a larger cone and this is a smaller cone. Notice that the B is the area of the base. The base is a circle. So I put a formula for the area of the circle, which is the base of the cones. Then the formula is asking you for an R and an H. So you give it their respective R's and H's, the, small, the bigger cone and then the smaller cone. So here are the volumes. And now we would like to compare this volume to this volume. This is the volume of the cone with the water. And this is the volume of the cup. Since we're comparing this one to this one, this one goes on the top. And then the division. And then this one goes on the bottom. So this is the numerator and the denominator. Now simplify. Notice how you could simplify quickly. This is a complex fraction fraction on top of a fraction. The inner multiplication is the denominator. The outer multiplication is the numerator. Simplify. You get this number. And then simplify this to lowest terms, and you get this number. So you reduce. So this is the portion of the cone that is filled with water.